Ah, December. It's a month with a lot of eating. So what did it do to my weight? Let's talk about it in this month's progress report. So I do these progress reports because I think it's good to show you real life, you know, what does it look like when, you know, you've lost weight, you're trying to maintain it, or you're trying to still lose some, how do the numbers really fluctuate? So in the last progress report, I set goals like I always do, and I had had a goal of losing two pounds for the month of December, which I knew was probably shooting for the moon a little bit, <laughs> uh, because we had a lot going on in December. We had, you know, a road trip that we went on, we had a vacation that we went on. Uh, we had family in from out of town, we had parties to go to, Christmas parties, Christmas baking, Christmas Day, New Year's Eve, you know, tons of opportunities basically to eat a whole lot of food. So first, let's talk about my walking results. My total step count for the month was 470,221. Ah, uh, but now the weight, <laughs> which is where I didn't do quite so good. I started the month at 155.14, and then I ended the month at 157.94, and that's a 2.8 pound gain. So yeah, there is a slight gain there. And you know what? I'm really not broken up about it. There was a time in my life where that would have been enough to uh, just make me completely go off the rails, like give up, but I've learned you know, it's just a matter of you got to get back to it and always, always, there's a reason if you have a gain and I can certainly look back on December and say, wow, I'm really surprised I didn't gain more than that. <laughs> like for example, on this past vacation that we went on, on that one, I did not do the eating plan at all. So I did continue to walk six miles a day, but I was completely off plan when it came to eating, which goes to show you once again, you cannot run your fork. It's so much more important to get your eating pattern under control than it is, you know, the walking or the exercise, that kind of thing. And I would encourage you if you have that same kind of thing going on, you maybe weren't so good during the holidays, get right back on track. There's nothing to worry about. You'll get it back off. So let's talk about the fluctuations in my weight because there were some big ones this month. My highest single day weight was 161 and then my lowest single day weight was almost 10 pounds less at 151.4. So my weight really, I mean, and this really is water weight fluctuations when you see really big numbers like that, um, for me at least, uh, because you know, during this time there were times where we were eating like Chinese food and snack foods and salty foods and stuff like that. And man, I can really uh, fluctuate a lot. So. Which goes back again to weighing yourself every day. That was one reason I felt so in control this past month. And you know, like I didn't wait until January 1st to just weigh myself. I weighed myself every day in December. And you know what? I knew exactly what my weight was doing. And that really helped keep me in check. And But it helped me also to enjoy the holidays even more because I knew like, okay, well, I knew where my weight was. I wasn't worried about it. And the most my weight fluctuated in a single week was 6.2 pounds. So man, I tell you, Again, I'm so glad I wait every single day because then I can tell like, oh, well, that was just, you know, a little outlier there. So let's talk about January. Some challenges, I actually don't see any. I, you know, this is like the easiest month to, you know, try to lose weight because everyone's trying to lose weight. So it's the beginning of the year and I always like to look, you know, towards the future uh, and see kind of what do I want, where do I want to be? And um, I'm going to try to continue to lose about a half a pound a week which is about two pounds a month. And I would like to be squarely in the 140s by June. Down further than that, I'm really not sure about whether I wanna to continue to lose down past that or if I just wanna kinda of stick in there and, and do some maintenance. I'm gonna basically reassess in June and see really where I am. What I don't wanna do is just set an arbitrary like 135 and say I gotta get down to that number because I really don't know if that's where I wanna be or not. So I'm just gonna basically see how this goes with the eating once a day, because this is sustainable for me. You know, eating once a day, having the cheat day on Sunday is just a super easy plan to stick with. So that does it for this progress report. I wonder how your December went. Did you do well? Did you gain a lot? Did you lose? I would be super duper impressed if you lost some weight. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below.